Hello folks and welcome. Linux Mint 21.1 Cinnamon. I'm filming in 1920 by 1080, no scaling. So I'm going to be talking about minor tweaks today. Minor tweaks for Cinnamon. Uh, one of them would be obviously increasing the font sizes of your regular fonts. But did you also know you can actually increase the fonts separately on your desktop? Minor tweak. I'm going to also talk about if you don't have an automatic timer set for your logout, and your shutdown or reboot. Minor tweak. I'm going to talk about your login screen, how to change that thing from a 24-hour clock to a 12-hour clock with an AM, PM, Meridian, or you can reformulate the whole line if you like. Minor tweak. In the same logout login screen, you can also change your mouse pointer and the size of the pointer. Again, screen resolutions sometimes have a different effect with different computers minor tweak. So I'm going to talk about things like that in this video. So welcome folks. This video is made for anyone. So I'm going to use Alt F4 to close this. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is uh, I only have one desk lit. Is the um, power down button. So in general if you don't see a timer then I you you have a certain setting turned off. And I'm going to turn that on where you can actually see a timer going through there and you can configure the timer yourself, which does an auto power down. Maybe you've seen some of my videos lately about creating icons for generally doing this, including keyboard shortcuts. But this one happens to be one of those with a timer on it and you can actually see the timer counting down and then when the timer hits zero, it'll actually shut down the computer. The same thing goes with the logout. It'll start with the same timer, and, and when it hits zero, it logs out. So let's first address that minor tweak. So right-click on your panel bar, minus semi-see-through. System settings, under general. I have everything turned off. So I'm going to turn this one on. So um, do I dare go below 15? I'm going to do a 12-second one. Anytime you uh, change the timer delay, make sure you hit Enter on your keyboard. Now when I hit the shutdown key, I have 12 seconds to think about this. If I walk away from this machine right now, in 6 seconds it's going to auto shut down. That was cutting it close. Same thing goes with my logout. It starts counting down from 12 seconds. I'm going to hit cancel. Now I'm going to fix the timer where it's a little higher. Again, a minor tweak. Let's uh, put something uh, more realistic. How about 30 seconds? Don't forget to hit enter. Now I'm going to close that and reopen this and now I have 30 seconds to think about it. Keep in mind if I walk away from the machine right now it'll auto shut down in that time frame. When that timer hits zero it'll turn itself off. Same thing goes with my log out. You know maybe you're going to get coffee and you'd like to log out real quick. You can set the timer whatever you feel is best for you. I'm going to hit cancel before that hits zero. Minor tweak. Let's talk about the sizes of fonts comparatively on your desktop. So first of all the overall size font is here. I'm going to change that from 11 to like a 13. Now everything just grows. I'm also going to talk about scaling factors. But I'm going to talk about desktop fonts first. And I'm, to give you those examples, I'm going to leave my desklet calendar alone. And I'm going to activate some icons on my desktop. So I'm going to first go to Customize, Desktop Settings, and I'll turn the trash can on. So under General Conditions, the first thing on this thing when you right-click for Customize is the actual icon size. It doesn't matter if it's a system icon or if you generate your own. I'm going to right click and create a, um, uh, let me do a document, uh, empty document, and I'll just call it test. Okay, so you can generally see the size of the icons and the size of the text. So now I'm going to go, here's the different sizes, small er, very tiny, to large er, that would be the largest. Now, the text did not change though. It's the same size, even though you get the illusion that you're, you're getting a smaller text, but it's not really happening. The magic of fixing the text is done here. So, font selection, 
desktop font, I'm going to go from 11 to 36. And there's a 36 size. This may be ridiculous, but I'm just getting my point across. So now I'm going to go to the Mint menu and I'm going to take one of these games and I'm going to right click on it and add it to the desktop just to give you a reference. One more time. This is your, normally your default is around a 10 or 11, somewhere in that range. That's what that looks like. That kind of didn't change. The text did. I'll go with something more reasonable, maybe a 26. Okay. So that's how you increase the text size that I want you to also notice that this did not change. Okay, let me point over to this desk lit for a second. I want to make this a, an 11 and all you're going to see is the text change over here, but not here. Okay, that's this is a desk lit. However, I'm going to change this back to 26 for the font on the desktop. So we're back to there. However, if I increase this, the text scaling factor, I'm going to need to move this a little bit. This will increase in size. So will all this. Now this is blown off the screen. Okay, it's kind of weird too. Kind of wobbles a little bit. All right, so I'm going to put this back to one. So that can be kind of powerful. What also affects uh, text scaling is this setting right here under accessibility options, large text. All right, if I go back in here, you will see that that is now to 1.2. When I turn it back on, it'll go back to one. So there's a relationship in there is what I'm getting at. Okay. Now, the thing with this is I have its own configuration box. I can make this tiny if I like, or even larger, or even not see-through. I can also make it black by doing that. I didn't want to make this video about this calendar, so I'm going to actually return this back to full transparency, and 31 is good enough for me. And I want to continue now. Minor tweak. So right click system settings. I talked about your timer for your shutdown and also your logout. Cancel. Now I'm going to talk about the login screen itself. That's down at the bottom, login window. So log in here for a second. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to demo logging out because it'll terminate my video. But I will show you some effects. So Starting with the appearance section, okay, I'm going to actually just point to the mouse pointer size. Do you remember when I first, and maybe you've seen a lot of my videos of where I always make mention of what I'm filming in, screen resolution, because it has a lot to do with a lot of things, text sizes, mouse pointer sizes, and this is no exception in your login screen. So there's a little dash in here or a line, which may be hard to see for some folks, but it normally sits right here at 24. That's your default mouse pointer size. Now, depending on your screen resolution, whether you're using a laptop or a standard monitor, and your standard monitors are not standard, are they? They, they come in various sizes, minus 43 inches. You know, I've seen them at 28, I've seen them at 20, you know, 24 or somewhere in between, and, and I've actually ran uh, Linux Mint on a 55 inch before. But that mouse pointer size is also adjustable in your login window. So if you noticed, I had mine set to 50. All right, the other thing is the pointer itself. So this is not the one I'm using currently. This is the one that's available in my log in window. And I have these to select from. What does that thing look like? Right click, system settings, themes. I've shown many videos on this. That's what that one looks like. If you log out of the system, it doesn't matter what I have currently selected, this is what I'm going to see. This one right here is what I'm going to see in a size 50 when I log out of my system. I'm going to change it back to my yellow pointer, which is currently not available in that menu. It's called radioactive. These, these are the ones that are available in the menu. 
Okay. Now let me continue under users the things with the stars, which is everything on this screen requires a reboot. I'm going to say this right now. I don't like to advocate people that like to log in with no passwords. It's just poor security. It's just poor security, but it is your machine. But I, I like to see login username and passwords. Let's face it. Our world is, it's got enough problems as it is with security. So do yourself a favor. Always use username and passwords. Now I'm going to continue and go to settings. What's this HIDPI mean? It's uh, dots per inch, high dots per inch. Normally this is set to auto. You can also disable that. The monitor is self-explanatory. Now let me talk about the panel indicators. When you're on your login screen, you know, you have your username posted there, you're logging in, that kind of thing. You probably haven't noticed this, but there's a host name normally in your left-hand corner. You can turn that off. You have the accessibility, power if you have a laptop, keyboard, and quit sitting in here along with your clock in the right-hand corner of your log in screen. You also have a clock format that's not formulated with this right here. This is how yours will look like. I'm going to actually put it back to default so you'll see what I mean by this. So the percent H means 24-hour clock. The percent M is minutes. There's a colon in between there. Do you see what that yellow box says for goodsturftime.com? All right, I'm going to show you Mike's website. And you can put the formulation in here. You can also put it in here. But to get to this, I'm going to leave the screen open. Here's another little tweak for you or tip. So right click on the time date thing and hit configure. If you have this turned on already, that means you're using whatever formulation that's in here. Now I'm going to show you mine. I currently have this set for Monday, May 22nd, 8.56 p.m. with the year on it. I forget to put a little comma there, so let me fix that. This is active. So let me put a comma right there. So now I'll put a comma right after the p.m. and that says 2023 on it. All right, these symbols you can get from this website right here for a good stirftime.com. I love Mike's website. <laughs> That's a great name. Great name. He did a great job of putting this together too. You can build your own. You drag the elements in here and they produce a format like this. So what does all this percent stuff mean? Well, here's your references. Everything starts with a percent. So your uh, screen over here, this is what I'm referring to. This is the login window. Let me now close the calendar one. The login window, the percent H represents the hour in 24 hour format. That's default from Linux Mint. If you want to change that to a percent I, that becomes a 12 hour. So I had that earlier, if you recall. So I'm going to change it back to percent I. Now I leave, I leave the colon alone and go with the percent M because the percent M is your minutes. It's right here. Percent M. So I'm going to also add and put right after the M a space. So in other words, I'm going to put a space percent and a small p. What does that do? It adds the AM and PM again to my login screen. This I'm working with the login, not this clock format, the login screen clock format. Again, minor tweak. Just for the folks that want to do this. All right, so down here I have the small p, which is actually the uppercase AM and PM, and the big p, again with a percent, all everything begins with a percent symbol, is a small AM and PM. By the way, you can build your own, dragging elements in here and they produce these things. I'll just do one example with Tuesday with this year on it. It's percent A, percent Y. Just giving you an example. And you can technically highlight that and copy this. And then close, uh, minimize that, walk over to here, Make sure you formulate it properly first and then hit paste. You would probably want more than just these two symbols that I have in here. You'd probably want to drag some of these symbols. However, you can also create your own. You can also print this. So you have it as a reference, but you will always have it electronically. All you got to do is right click, hit configure, and turn this thing on and your web pages 
done through this link. Again, he did a great job as far as this is concerned. So there's your reference. Can you also build your own for this here? Absolutely, that's where I got mine, but I customized it. And you can hand type these in also, as long as you know what those symbols mean. And Mike did a great job by giving you that information on this website. There's all the things that you need to formulate those time date elements in your time date bar here or here for your clock format in your login screen. You can also turn it off. All right, so we have login window information, minor tweak. Let me see if I have something else to cover here before I let you go here. It's at the fifth, uh, 16th minute. I briefly have been talking about a lot of these things, a lot of these things over time. Probably about the only one is, um, are you into opening this calendar quite often? If you are, then let me talk about this minor tweak. Configure, it's listed under here. Normally this is not, doesn't say F6. Normally it says this, super C. Now your super key does this when I depress it. If you have one of those on your keyboard, it opens up your mint menu. The super key is also called the start key and some folks will have a symbol of a window on their keyboard. That key is normally found next to your alt key if you have one, if you have one. However, if you don't have one, then you can also assign that with a different key by clicking that and it says pick accelerator. That means pick a key on your keyboard. I'm going to use F6 for my example. I still have another spot, but I don't really need two of these. So what does the F6 do for me? Well, let's say you're on a website, you're doing something, and you need to uh, look at that calendar in a hurry. Press F6, there's your calendar. Close. And remember, I'm not gonna do a video on, uh, regarding the calendar today, but these are all events that you can plug in manually, or you can bring in um, some online calendars also. I'm gonna use Alt F4 to close this web browser page. So the F6, all it does is open and close my calendar. You can certainly click on that. And on that note, folks, thank you for watching.